Good morning, people watching. I'm 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. I'm trying to get that glare. I'm in Cody's dirty room right now, but it is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. That's the simple gospel. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. The key word is believe. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will guide you, lead you. The Holy Spirit will change you. He's your best friend. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but the Holy Spirit will also seal you until the day of redemption. You won't lose your salvation. I'm going to hit on that more about losing your salvation because a lot of people seem to think you can. And that's coming from a Pentecostal movement thing. I know I, I was brought up and raised and born in it, in the Pentecostal movement. I was born and raised in the uh, oneness, no, the holiness movement. They think the only way you can be saved is to speak in tongues, is to get water baptized, and to join the church. If you don't do any of that, you're not saved in their eyes. That's a lie from the pit of hell, and they're leading millions to hell. They have left, they have led millions to hell with that movement. And I'm going to hit on that more uh, probably sometime in the near future. Folks, we're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. And I know some people are coming out of that. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people that are coming out of that movement, they have they have that mentality. I had it for a long time. I had it for a long time. And it's not, you got to break that through the Holy Spirit. He will show you and guide you. That's who, That's what happened to me. You are not saved by works. Salvation and works don't go hand in hand. That's like having one foot in the world and one foot in Christ. It's a weak walk. And it doesn't fly with God. We're saved by grace through faith. By grace through faith in Christ alone. Our faith lies in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We're justified by the blood. Nothing else. Nothing else. We're saved by believing. I got to give you this article. And no, you won't lose your salvation. I got to give you this article. And this is off of Gateway Pundit. And this is... Um, Exclusive video, Kenny County, Texas Sheriff Co. announces historic plan to deputize local citizens to fight back against Sleepy Joe's border invasion. I'll be your Uncle Barry. This is good. <laughs> Kenny County, Texas Sheriff Brad Co. will make historic announcement tonight live on 100% Fed Up and the Gateway Pundit. Sheriff Co. Uh, that was last night he did this. This was last night. Sheriff Coe is deputizing at least 10 local citizens to rescue the county from Sleepy Joe's illegal border invasion. More power to them. God bless them. Somebody's got to stand up. I mean, like I said, I mean, because I know we are born again believers in Jesus Christ. And I guarantee you some of them are too. And we are rapture ready. And I know that. But in the meantime, until we get out of here, you have a voice. God gave you a voice. Speak up. This is good. This sheriff is doing this. Kenny County also will also build a fence around the county to protect the border county from the invasion. That's good. The people have had enough.
The following plan was unanimously approved by the Kenny County Commissioner's Court as of uh, yesterday, October 18th. Reserve positions under Sheriff Co. As granted authority under the Constitution, minimum of 10 men for now, qualified men such as former military peace officers, men will fully be fully vetted and must pass an in-depth criminal background check, of course. Um, men will also receive training and spend time with the county deputies. That's excellent. I'm going to link this article in the description box. This is a short video for now. I'm going to come back later. Uh, I have to go and do some things before I pick up Zach because they have wrestling practice later. And he has an early day today. So, But I have some <laughs> interesting articles on my blog. Folks, there's protesting going on everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. I got to give you this other article now. This is off of CBN. Israel ramps up military plans against Iran. Israel is advancing military plans to confront Iran's nuclear program and oppose the Islamic Republic's growing influence on the re in the region. The Iranians today are closer, excuse me, to creating material for nuclear weapons than they ever were in the past. I give them another month. An Israeli security official today told journalists during a briefing attended by the CBN News, in light of Iranian progress of their nuclear program, we're preparing for all options and scenarios, including military capabilities. Uh, this goes on to say, um, Israel's military establishing new headquarters to deal exclusively with Iran, which is entrenching itself in unstable countries in the region and using subversion terrorists, financing, and arms exports to reshape the Middle East, the official warned. Israel sees a power struggle developing in the region, one that uh, pits the Shiite Iran and its proxies in Yemen. Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon against moderate countries who are threatened by Tehran's actions. Israel wants to leverage the new relationship it has made with the Arab neighbors through the Abraham Accords and its close ties with Egypt, Jordan, Greece, and Cyprus to build a counterforce against Iran in the region. This is biblical. This is in the Bible all the way. Um, I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. Um, it goes on to say the dopey administration's efforts to renegotiate the 2015 deal after former U.S. President, after U.S. President Donald Trump abandoned it in 2018, have so far failed. Washington is working closely with Israel and other allies to increase pressure on Iran to return to the negotiating table. The Dopey administration hinted last week that the U.S. could consider using force. Using force. If this fails. That don't put... You know what? I heard on the radio this morning that they're secretly transporting underage illegal immigrants coming up, invading this country, they're secretly transporting them and placing them in places like Florida, Arizona, and Texas. Don't forget, they're government-owned. They pay, the government pays all of their stuff. And I'm trying to find, because I heard it on the radio twice. Glenn Beck mentioned it a few minutes ago on The Blaze. <sighs> This is where we're at right now. Folks, look up. Our Redeemer drawing is drawing near. I'm going to link these articles in the description box. Um, um, again, look at my blogs. I have articles on there that are interesting. Um, I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your support. I pray for you guys, and I pray God's blessing over you. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.